Mark, we're on telly tomorrow, Stockport at home. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, they don't come much bigger. Top of the table, team come in and Stockport are there and they're there for a reason. Um, you know, a, a great side, um, a really experienced manager and they're really in great form at the moment. So we've got to use all of that to bring out the best in us. Um, you know, the cameras are coming down, so we want to put on a, a good version of ourselves. But at the same time, nothing changes. It's, um, you know, we prepare the same, we work the same and uh, we're just looking to put a, a good account of ourselves um, show that fight, that grit, that determination, and um, also put our game onto them. You know, we can't show we can't show fear. We have to show respect, but certainly no fear. Of course, I don't want to talk about the Wrexham game too much, but obviously it was a bit of an eye opener for us, and hopefully the game being on telly maybe will see us raise our levels for the game. Yeah, when you play good sides, you can't give them a leg up or a hand. You have to be fully focused on the job in hand at all times. Uh, unfortunately at Wrexham we showed some real naivety in moments, in key moments of the game which is, was we were masters of our own downfall and you can't give good teams with good players um, time, space, you can't switch off from, from dead balls um, so we've learnt some very valuable lessons um, from Wrexham um, but we would, well, we would only learn them if we, um, you know, we act on them and we show improvement tomorrow of course, with the game being on telly, it brings more of that excitement, hopefully a level to step up rather than the pressure of it, I'm assuming. Yeah, look, I think if you know if you looked at where the teams are in the leagues, then we probably go into this as the underdog. Um, so, you know, prob- probably as much pressure, you know, is, is what you put on yourself. You know, we always put ourselves under pressure. We, you know, we want to we prepare to win every game of football. And that's certainly the case here. Um, we, we've got to look forward to the cameras. We've got to for- look forward to the top of the table team coming down and we've got to embrace that embrace that challenge of course we've also been preparing for the future obviously we've just announced Alfie Saunders has signed an extended contract with us what's your thoughts behind that yeah fully fully deserved from Alfie since the moment I walked in the door he's been a a breath of fresh air around the place his attitude his mentality his application every every day he he, he gives you everything he's got and um, it's only right that he's been rewarded he's had lots of outings in the first team he's had a loan experience and he's he's developing really really nicely and uh, you know it's it's a it's a reward for him for all, all his hard work and of course, with him signing a new deal, can we expect a few more of these over the next few weeks? Yeah, look, we're, we're looking to build something here and um, you know, we're going to be built on young, hungry talent and we want to make sure that those ones that we want to continue to work with get, get tied down so we can uh, you know, not lose the work we've done with them and continue to build on, on their hard work that they're showing. Of course, an opportunity for Ben Schroll to go out and get more game time. Obviously, he had time at Hampton, but he's now gone to have it on loan for a month. Yeah, Ben Schroll, we just felt he's just probably gone a little bit too long without some games. And again, he's a, a player we really want to keep developing. Don't want him to stand still. Um, he's, he's very close to being a, a regular for us. Uh, just felt that uh, a, few more, a few games will, will help him get closer to being that regular for us. And uh, he's another one we, we don't want to rush, but we also don't want to waste any valuable time with him sitting outside the team. So if he can um, you know, get the training here, plus some, some games at a very good level, a good side in, in Haven. So um, hopefully we'll get that balance right with him and continue to develop him as a, as a player. Of course, injury-wise, how are the players doing ahead of the game? Yeah, again, just, just the, the, obviously Lewis Kinsella still, still missing, unfortunately, as he nurses that, that knee. He is continuing to build on that and we're hoping at some stage next week he'll be, be outside with, with us. Um, you know, or long, at least alongside us on the training pitch, maybe doing his own thing. Kevin Locko is getting stronger and fitter, uh, you know, touch wood um, at the moment. And we're hopefully organising some, some games to, to speed him up um, because I think he's getting, you know, he's getting much closer. Of course, looking at the last time we played Stockport, obviously away, it was a 1-0 defeat, but we put in a hearty performance there. What will we take from that game away at their place into the game on TV Saturday? I think that's a, quite a long time ago now and I think you can only look at your, your current form and um, you know we're going to certainly have to be our absolute best you know I say this every week but it's quite clear that what Stockport possess um, so look they're, um, they're a great side we're, we could prove that we can stay with the best sides and we just got to make sure that we believe in ourselves keep working hard believing in our processes and, and go out there with no fear put our best foot forward and uh, wear the shirt with pride. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.